there. Okay, another short episode of the how to build your 3D printed helmet and get it smooth and painted. This episode is how to lacquer your helmet. So what is this, tutorial five now? Man, we're cooking on gas. Before we get to it, I just want to show you this. You might have seen the post yesterday. I was uh, part of a secret Santa with um, a bunch of brilliant fellow makers. It was organized by uh, Mickle Makes 3D and Alexander Makes. Two uh, really, really lovely makers and friends of mine. And um, I got this one, which is by Paul from PSD Armory, another friend. And I'm so happy I got this one because I love Paul. If you've been following me for a while, Paul um, started his podcast interviewing um, Star Wars helmet makers. And he's, um, I was the first very episode, very honoured to be asked about that. Way back when I like first started Jeddah. Um, and Paul's a lovely guy, he's a really good interviewer. And I got his helmet, and this is one of his own unique models. And um, I didn't recognize it. I'm like, who's this? Is this like a TK trooper? Is it, is it like a, a a clone stroke stormtrooper 1.5 or something? Anyway, he sent me this amazing framed description of who it is because it's his own character. How nice is that? 50% helmet. So cute. Yeah, I'll be I'll be doing a video of how I made my one, I will... Uh, am I allowed to now post a picture of it? I think I am. Um, the person who got mine, who was part of the group, uh, was my friend Callum, who's actually a patron of mine. So he was part of the group and I got him to send it to me. It was amazing, it was so good. Anyway, enjoy the video. This is how to lacquer your helmet. Right, do you know what? This is dry. It's only been like less than an hour, but um, it's kind of warm in here. So make sure your fingers are dry or wear gloves because you are going to pick the lid up and it's been painted and you don't want any grease or anything on there because it will react with the paint uh if in doubt use isopropyl and a rag right we're going to use high coat clear lacquer and we're going to do three layers of this three now the reason i've been so meticulously about telling you how to paint is because when you get to this stage you can't mess it up because if you do you mess it up, right? We're gonna do three coats. The first layer is gonna be super light, okay? Then we're gonna wait 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna do a medium coat. Then we're gonna wait another 15, 20 minutes and we're gonna do the final coat, which is a little bit thicker. But by that point, you've covered everywhere, the whole surface. The light layer is blended into the medium layer. So you should have the whole surface covered. So when you do a little bit of a thicker layer, and it's had 20, 40 minutes to start setting. It's a bit more blo globuly, it's a bit thicker, so it's less likely to run. This is uh, paramount of what you want to prevent is runs. That's why you don't do too much at once. You do a really light coat. Do not get carried away. I'm, I'm warning you, if you do it, you'll be like, ah, he told me not to and I did it, right? It's a really light coat. But once you've done the first layer, you can't pick it up again. So make sure, all the uppy bits you do a good job because you can only really do one unless you can get it high and spray underneath but spray cans don't like to be turned like that they start spitting yeah, you don't want that right so just prep your area as much as you can i'm actually going to pick it up from the ear because that's going to be covered with uh, some accessories so you won't see it i'm going to just spray exactly the same bottom bits I'm going to do a medium coat on the bottom bit because again we won't be able to get to it okay see that that's like a medium coat I'm going to do those bits I'm going to do the cheeks okay now I'm going to place it down facing me so that I can get to it okay then we're going to gently Get it level, do all the downy bits. Light coat. And I don't know if you can see, but because I've only done the downy bits and the uppy bits, you can see the overspray, yeah? So imagine that going onto it if you'd already done the flat bits and then you do ups and downs, you get overspray and it's textured, you don't want that, you want it smooth. So now I'm going to do all the flat bits, and I'm just going to do the dome. That's enough, back off, right? Now all the flat bits. And I'm not worried about get covering the whole everything. If I miss bits, it's okay, because I'm going to come back to them. 
and do a medium coat in about 20 minutes. Just follow the flow of the helmet, about two inches wide. That's it. Right, really light coat. You'll be able to see the texture of it where it's not completely covered the helmet. That's okay. We're going to set this down for 20 minutes in a dust-free environment so no dust settles from it or rises up from the floor. In fact, I'm just going to leave it here and not even look at it because if you look at it, you'll get dust on it from your eyeballs. Right, it's been about 20 minutes. Oh my God, I've got a bit of dust on my head. It's been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to do it, give it a second coat. Obviously, I can't pick it up now, so I'm going to... Let me just prop it up a little bit higher, just to see if I can get to these undersides. Again, this is now a light to medium coat, you can put a little bit more on, because it's already got some product on it, the lacquer, for it to sort of receive more lacquer. Right, down bits. Don't need this now. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for another 20 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like on his second coat. Ooh! Okay, final coat here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the uppy bits now. I'm, I am gonna do the down bits, so I'll start there. Again, do another medium coat. Medium to thick, not too thick, because you don't want it to run. this is the last layer so you want all the bits to settle in and you can see it when you spray it it goes on texture but then it sort of melts into the surrounding lacquer that's what you want it to do without dripping okay we're good look at the shine see how shiny it is that is the perfect base layer to do chrome paint on top because that shininess is going to come through on the paint uh, obviously don't get your dreadlocks stuck to it uh, thank you very much for watching it and sticking it to the end i know it's a bit boring like you're just doing the same steps it seems but if you've been watching these video as a series like in order you'll see that in barely any time at all we've got a corrugated bit of police plastic it seems to this beautiful smooth shiny helmet which is now ready for like amazing shiny chrome paint and we're getting closer and closer to the finished product and each of one of these steps i've learned is integral and the reason being is i like to streamline my process to do as little work as possible with the best yielding result if that makes sense so all these steps might seem like a lot of work but it's not it you know you have a plastic helmet you prep it then you sand it and smooth it and you fill it and you sand it again you primer it and you paint it it's really there's not much to it i guess i'm just doing these videos and talking about all the ins and outs of it to to give as descriptive and detailed approach as possible as to what i'm doing and why rather than just going i'm just doing this and you're not knowing why because i hate that you know what i mean if someone shows me this cool new skill i'm like yeah but why does it work why do you do like that why don't you do like this and i'd like to try at least explain as much as possible as to why so I hope I'm doing that. Let me know if I'm not or if you want to know more. And uh, if you want a kit, head on to my website, jeddaworkshop.co.uk. There's tons of kits to choose from. It's not just Django like this one. There's so many, man, and way more coming in the new year. And if you'd like to support um, me and the work that I do on Patreon so I can create new models every single month, head on over there, patreon.com forward slash Workshop. There's tons of tiers. Uh, you don't need a 3D printer. I do tiers where you get kits with like huge discounts just to say thank you for supporting me i do 3d files if you do own a 3d printer i even have a tier with finished helmets so yeah check it out uh thank you very much for watching i am ash from jedda workshop i hope you have a lovely weekend we're getting closer and closer to christmas so weird um yeah I'm, i'll catch you on the flip side namaste this is the way peace